welcome guys uh, I am going to teach uh, today the analysis of structures using method of uh, joints so the analysis of a structure is the process by which we determine how the loads applied to a structure are distributed throughout the structure we limit the discussion of structures which are being connected so that is uh, those that consist of assemblages of bars fastened together by smooth bolts or rivets a truss, which uh, we usually uh, being analyzed uh, using method of joints, is a structure composed of members fastened together in such a way as to resist chains in shape. It is a rigid structure. The purpose of a truss is to support a larger load or span a greater distance than any individual member from which the truss may be built. To make a structure rigid, its members must be fastened together in such a way to prevent any movement between them. So as you can see here in the figure, we have two different uh, types of the frame. We have here, as you have here for the rigid fr frame, uh, the, the joints are being connected by pin or rivet. And then you have here an rigid frame by which if there is an application of a load P, this uh, changes or transform the earth. Their, uh, shape so let's go to how we analyze the the, the truss or the structure with the use of the method of joints so the assumption that all members of a truss are two force members carrying axial loads means that the free body diagram of any joint is a concurrent force system in equilibrium which i have discussed already earlier about force system in equilibrium in my previous uh, uh, video the method of joints may be summarized in the following steps. First, you choose a pin, or that is a joint, on which no more than two members act. For the purposes for simplicity, that we could uh, uh, use the equilibrium equation in determining the different members of, or the different forces of the members. When the force in each member has been determined, it is indicated on the truss diagram by arrows at each end of the members. Then next, we draw the free body diagram of the pin having only two unmarked members. As I said, if you have three or more uh, unknown members, it would be difficult to use equilibrium equations. So better to have or to choose two unknown members. Assuming the forces in the unmarked members uh, is either tension or compression. After determining the forces at the pin, mark the original truss diagram with appropriate arrows at each end of the member whose force you have found. It could be either tension or could be compression. From the original truss diagram, select the, uh, the pin at which there are only two unmarked members, which I already uh, mentioned earlier. In many cases, it is preferable to work from one end of the truss to the middle member. So if you are experienced, uh, uh, if you have already tried, analyze trust you will see the advantage of having the analysis is starting from uh, one end of the trust at the, at the end and, and then from the other end of the trust back toward the same mid member so let's say you have your think trust is loaded as shown in the figure Determine the force in each member of the truss, assuming them, them to be pin connected. So you have here, now actually the total load is 7,000 Newton. You have 3,000 up and then 4,000 here in the bottom cord. So by uh, investigation with different methods, we can identify this reaction. It's either you sum of forces vertical and uh, this is a, a symmetrical like, um, figure. So it's just divided by two. Or we can get moment at A or moment at G. So, for example, here we take moment that we take the joint at A. So, at joint at A, we choose this uh, joint at A because we only have two on members. When we sum some of forces along Y, we can easily compute AB. So, here forces vertical, which is along Y, AB here is the sine of 30 degrees. This sine, this component, is just equal to this 3500 Newton. So, we can get by our calculator, AB is equal to 7,000. And then you have forces horizontal, AC is equal just to the cosine. The cosine of AB is this one. Then we can get AC, which is already in tension, 
and every single pressure which we expect okay so at joint B we consider joint B using rota rotated axis we remember that this angle is 60 degrees so if this is 60 this one will become 30 and this will become 60 60 and 30 is 90 so the remaining here is also 90 in other words if this is 30 this is also 30 by which we can rotate in this direction counterclockwise direction by which this y this line will be our new axis and similarly in a similar way that this will be our new x axis now summing of forces along y in this direction so we have 1000 cosine 30 this is 1000 cosine 30 going down is just equal to going up bc therefore we can compute bc equals to 866 newton and this one is in compression bc is in compression now if we sum of forces x or along x we have here ab which is 7000 newton we calculated earlier in this uh, in this direction it's just opposite with that bd and then the other force that you will have is this 1000 kilo newton 1000 newton which is in this direction if we consider going to here as positive then this one will become negative which is just sine 30 so therefore we can have here bd is equal to 6500 newton and, and again bd will be in compression now uh, the last joint here in the C, you have here, we sum up forces vertical along Y, and then we sum up also forces along X, horizontal force. So along Y, you have here CD, which is this sine 60 going up, and then minus this uh, vertical component, which is sine of 60 again, of 866, and then minus 2000, which is also going down. Therefore, we can compute here CD, which is equal to 3175 Newton, and therefore CD will be in tension. And uh, if we sum of forces X or horizontal, we have here going to the right, this one, C is positive, and then AC is going to the left, that becomes negative. And then this 866, which is going to the right, and this is cosine of 60, is also positive. And then we have CD, which we calculated earlier, also going to the right, and this is cosine of 60 equals to zero and therefore c could be calculated uh, 4040 newton and again c will be will be in tension so thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification uh, button for uh, more videos